What's up, everyone, and welcome to another daily episode where we're going to talk about WordPress and a significant privilege escalation problem discovered in two themes called Jupyter and Jupyter X Core plugin. And these are used by over 90,000 WordPress websites. The privilege escalation can allow threat attackers to seize complete control of any website that has the affected versions installed. Now, before we really get into the story, I've made some adjustments to how I will be providing content going forward. If you've heard this already, please just bear with me. I want to make sure that those who are not yet familiar with my master plan can also be informed. The good news is this is the last time I will have this message. So yay! I now have three primary categories. The main categories are dailies, then retrospectives, and then weeklies. In the dailies, we will go through just the facts, the story as it hits the wire. Then there are retrospectives where I will take specific stories out of the dailies pool and give insights about what these events mean. So all I'm really doing is splitting my current daily format into two episodes. So why the big fanfare? I want to provide more real-time information about the events closer to when they hit the wire. This way, those of you who don't have time to read, but can listen to my melodious voice, gently ushering the day's cyber news into your ears. And of course, I hope that the visual effects in my episodes help you to remember the important parts because they're funny. Now, if you're interested in what I decipher from these daily events or daily stories, you could watch my hopefully two to three times weekly retrospectives. These do take longer to produce because I have to dive to the deepest bone crushing parts of murky oxygen deprived oceans on distant planets to reach the depths where I simply pick the jewels of knowledge right from the ocean floor. And when I get back from that trip, I share them with you. Finally, we will continue with the weeklies where I go through all the events of the previous week at record speed for you to just recap. So you have three opportunities to internalize this very important information. Of course, I hope to streamline some of this stuff so that I can, you know, start doing things like cool interviews and, of course, get back to what I really love to do, which is diving into the ones and zeros to figure out how this stuff works and share that information with you. Oh, drat these computers. They're so naughty and so complex. I could pinch them. So... A critical privilege escalation flaw was found in these two themes that are used by more than 90,000 WordPress sites that can allow an attacker to take over the sites completely. And that's according to researchers with WordFence. So WordFence threat intelligence team researcher Romwell Gall discovered the flaw, one of five vulnerabilities he found between April and May in the Jupyter and Jupyter X premium WordPress themes. And he revealed it in a blog post. These are premium WordPress themes, which premium usually means they are paid for by, in this case, 90,000 people. Hey, congratulations. You're doing a great job by wanting to learn about the critical vulnerabilities in these WordPress themes. I appreciate your support by watching my episode about it. If you're new to my channel and have not already, please consider subscribing to my channel and smashing the bell to be notified when I upload new daily episodes and retrospectives where I give you insights into the newest important cybersecurity news stories like this one. With my insights, you can be better prepared to protect your company, your family, and yes, of course, yourself against these and other cyber attacks. So hit the subscribe button now and let's continue to learn about this story together. Now, one of the flaws, tracked to CVE 2022-1654 and rated as 9.9 .9 or critical on the CVS's scoring chart, allows for any authenticated attacker, including a subscriber or customer level attacker, to gain administrative privileges and completely take over any site running either the Jupyter theme or Jupyter X Core plugin. The plugin is of course required to run the Jupyter X theme. So you would install the Jupyter X plugin and then you can say install the Jupyter X theme and then you realize, well, I don't want the Jupyter X theme. So you remove it, but you still have the Jupyter X core plugin installed. If you have an affected version, you are still, um, po it's still possible to take over your site. Now, affected versions of the themes, just to get into that topic, is Jupyter Theme 6.10.1 or earlier and Jupyter X Core plugin 2.0.7 or earlier. WordFence finished their investigation of most of the flaws on April 5th and reported them to the Jupyter and Jupyter X Theme developer called Artbees on the same day, so on April 5th. Then on May 3rd, they notified the developer of an additional Jupyter Theme flaw. 
By May 10th, updated versions of both Jupiter and Jupiter X themes were released that patched all of the flaws. Good for them. Now, the critical flaw found resides in a function, and this is where the problem is. It's called uninstall template, which is intended to reset a site after a template is uninstalled. So let's say you have, you know, a, a template that you wanted to test out, and then you're like, ah, I don't like it, so you uninstall it. Um, you use this uninstall. It you, The Jupyter uh, um, X plugin and the Jupyter theme use this uninstall template function. However, it has the additional effect of elevating the user calling the function to an administrator role. In the Jupyter theme, the function is, as I mentioned just a couple seconds ago, it's found in the theme itself. This function uninstall template is inside the theme. And then in Jupyter X, it's present in the Jupyter X core plugin. Vulnerable versions register Ajax actions, but do not perform any capability checks or nonce checks. So it's not checking what 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 role the current user who's making this Ajax call has. Are you an administrator? Are you a newsletter subscriber? Are you a customer? It doesn't know what role you have. It just automatically sets you as the admin, runs the function as if you're an admin. So on a site vulnerable or with a vulnerable version of the Jupyter theme installed, any logged in user, again, a subscriber, customer, or a reader or whatever, can elevate their privileges to those of an administrator by sending an Ajax request with the action parameter set to ABB underscore and uninstall underscore template. Now, WordFence researchers recommend that anyone using the affected themes updated um, update the, to the patched versions immediately. Of course, duh. The company released a firewall rule to protect WordFence Premium, WordFence Care, and WordFence Response customers on April 5th. Then they waited a, a month for the free WordFence users and released that on May 4th. So there you have it. That's the news. With that, I say thanks for watching. Don't forget to share and subscribe if you haven't already and smash the bell if you haven't already. And I'll see you on the next episode. Take care.